Can dreams really come true? Can we decide our fate, our destiny? Here, everything is possible. It's time to conquer the world. From disaster to paradise. Welcome to Fire Scar. The second donkey expedition is not going as planned. I've wandered many days, but I haven't found a single donkey. I know they are somewhere around here. My food supply is running low and I need rest. I found this cave. It's not much, but it will have to do for now. I built a small roof at the entrance of the cave. I also found cows. I almost feel bad for them, but... I need food and steak. Sounds like it will do me good. Now that I know how hard it is to get food on a trip like this, I think I should leave a wheat field behind. Maybe someone will come across the spot and can use some help. I am now set again. I know there are donkeys around here and I will find them. Let's just hope that when I find them, the trip into the underworld will not end in certain death. August 29th, 2016 And with that, hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Fire Scar. My name is Dave and I'll be your host for this episode, as always. As you might have heard in the little intro, my donkey died and I'm off to find a new one which has not been fruitful so far. I've literally won it for many days. <laughs> uh, I... No, let's just keep on going. Um, I was looking at... Oh, by the way, this is the cave I'm talking about. Just left the spot li behind like this. No. Oh. Actually, I almost forgot to take my food. Um, may I, uh, I wanted to get the donkey into the nether and like start to build a path for it so I can take the donkey back to Iron Rivers and the quarry and wherever I may want to take him. But when I went through the portal, he uh, like he got put right into the uh, portal frame, right into the obsidian, and I could not get him free and he died and it's sad. So I headed out to find a new one, to where I th thought was the spot where I found the donkeys, and I couldn't find the spot. I was looking at the overview map that I have from uh, this world, and I, I thought I knew where the location is. Nope. Apparently not. So I'm now out and about again for quite a while now. I as like I actually ran out of food. I bought a uh, full stack of mutton. I have seven now. Now six. See, it it was kind of on a strip of land like this, with a small mountain and. Few trees around, and that's where I found the donkey. Actually, it, it was kind of like a hill like that. It's a really small one where I could walk around. And behind it, there was the ocean, and that's where I built the house. And right in front of the little mountain was where the donkeys were. But at this one, there are no donkeys, and there's a forest. So that's no good. So annoying. Maybe I should just uh, take a boat and go along the shoreline. Maybe I found find that spot again. But then again, if I would just wander the plains biomes, I might just stumble upon donkeys anyway. I don't have to get the same donkeys again. I can get a new. 
uh, donkeys. I also brought. I left them behind. Uh, I brought um, leashes so I can take three donkeys with me. Because I want to breed them and I would like to have one for spare. In case any accident happened. Mm hmm. So, the second book, um, the spelling mistakes really tell a story about me and. I think the best way to describe something like this is, uh, you know that there are different learning types, right? Some people are more like the visual type. If they have like a vivid Im image in their head, then they can remember whatever it was about. So for example, some people make a big drawing in their notes they take for school and they remember the drawing and they have, w together with that, whatever they wrote down on that page. Now, I don't work like that. Other people um, learn best if they just write stuff over and over again. That's how they remember. Now, I'm more of an acoustic type, right? My head works by sound and remembering sound. So I actually learn the best if I'm just in class, sitting there, listening to whatever people tell me. And <clears throat> I just try to understand it and then I can remember it. Now with writing, that's not so useful. Often you don't write stuff the way you would say them, and sometimes um, like it's not really set how these things work. And especially if it's not your native language, some, hilari uh, some hilarity can happen. Well, the first thing is the expedition. Which I thought pretty funny, and there there are a few in here, but there's really one that I want to show you, and the reason why I want to talk about this. Um, let's just hope that when I find them, the trip into the underworld will not end in certain death. End. Uh huh. And it's just hilarious. When I when I saw that, I actually had to laugh quite a bit. But yeah, that's how my brain works. Want to. Uh, make the sound end. I could I could use the E, but no, my hands default to end because that's what I usually use, <laughs> right? I use the word end more than I use the word end. And <clears throat> since my pronunciation is fairly bad, I pronounce them the same way. So I default to the first one. I also have the same thing in German. For example, we have like a sound that is I like yeah, that's actually a word on its own but um, that sound you usually um, write like this but when you say it it's more like this so when I'm just writing and not thinking about it I use the one with the A because that's the way it sounds and not the one with the E Although, that's like one of the first things you learn when you go to school, like, first class, it's like, no, don't fucking do that. So yeah, my brain is just acoustic. Which is a reason why I'm so driven to music, but when it comes to writing, uh, <laughs> I can get in trouble. Looks like I found another plains biome. Hello, cows. Um, I guess we'll just use this episode as an explorer type and just talk the episode. Oh, there's a village. Nice. Um, there is a little thing that I would like to talk about. I, th I thought about making it its own video, but I don't think it needs that much attention. Um, the thing is, I... I am now famous. I think I managed to actually get a hater on YouTube. Imagine that. Somewhere out there is a person that every day tries to have an impact on my life because apparently I have one on his or hers. Isn't that insane? Like the thought of that? Somebody takes time out of their day, every day, every day, to click on one of my videos and it's like them. That's, uh, to be honest, I kind of feel honored, but, um, 
thing is, I get a dislike on every video right now that I make. And without that video gaining a view from that. So somebody clicks on the video, dislikes it, clicks away so that YouTube doesn't count the view, but the dislike. Now at first, that, that's something that shouldn't be a thing. If... Oh, just smart. If YouTube is not gonna count the view, why would it count the dislike? That's stupid. That that really shouldn't be a thing, but... Yeah, other than that... Why... Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Well, too bad I'll never see you again. Um... I'm just checking these if anybody of those has... Mending. I will note down the coordinates. And I will do my best to get that guy to wherever he can be safe. But yeah, uh, I have no problem with negative um, critique. Holy cow field. In fact, I'm, I'm all for negative critique. I mean, that's how you get better. It's nice if people tell you, hey, you're doing good. But th th there is nothing but being like stationary because of that, right? And if you want to get better, you have to know what's wrong. Now, getting a dislike on every video has me thinking, what is he trying to tell me? <clears throat> Am I just really annoying? Or is it that my videos lost quality? But then again, that person that doesn't actually watch them. And then I thought, Maybe it's somebody that subscribed for Minecraft, and I'm not doing a lot of Minecraft lately because it takes a long fucking time to do one of these episodes. And so I thought, well, maybe it's just they're disliking every video but Minecraft, so I make Minecraft again. And then I looked, and nope, Minecraft has also gotten a dislike. And... And I'm... I'm now thinking maybe a person wants seven days to die, maybe? I mean, that's really the only uh, other series that didn't have an official ending. And is, well, considerably a series that should continue. <laughs> let's, let's phrase it like that. So yeah, I don't actually know how to deal with that. I, I don't know what to do now. I would like to fix whatever is wrong, but maybe that person is just an asshole and wants to dislike my videos, but hmm. Well then, so be it. See, that's another one of these small mountains that I thought, oh, that's it, that's it, woo, but then nope. Mm -mm. It wasn't. Fucking hell. Now, donkeys don't spawn in extreme hills biomes, but I couldn't help it. I had to look. Take. I had to take a look at it. Pretty nice, but actually not um, too mind blowing, considering the other stuff that we have in this world. That is just completely insane. Usually, I mean, there's a big flying chunk of rock. That's kind of cool, but nothing majorly mind-blowing. <gasps> Donkeys! Forgot to get the leeches. Fuck. Well, there are a lot of donkeys here. Can I just pick up the ladder? Okay, we have a lot of donkeys. There's a swamp. So we can get... Holy shit. Uh, we can get slime balls from there, and I'll probably get a few spiders overnight. So let's set up camp somewhere over here. Just... Something small, a little building. Hey, quick note from editing Dave. 
So when I say leeches in the recording, I actually mean leads. Like the ropey things you use to violently drag animals behind you in the game. Not actual leeches, like the worms that suck blood. No idea how I managed to fuck that one up. But you know, it's nice to surprise yourself, I guess. So, leads, not leeches. Let's build a little camp up here. This little mountain top. Sure. Alright, it's getting night. Let's see if we can find ourselves a few slimes. Fight through the night. Let's see how we do. Creepers and skeletons, you have to watch out. Even if you're just looking for slimes. With zombies, you can usually just dodge them. Okay, so far I don't see anything. I hear a spider. We also need spiders. I should have killed you with my sword. I have a looting sword on me. That was stupid. Well, I don't need that much. I think. Well, actually. The modern area. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a big swamp. I hear you, spider. get and that's what I get hey who shoot hey I was shot oh I wasn't healing thank god I set my spawn well this is more eventful than I thought. I'm glad I'm recording this. Try to get our stuff back without dying. What? Where's my stuff? Huh. Oh, that's actually a witch shadow. <gasps> that's not good. Can't run. You. I need food. No, I'm gonna die again. Let's attempt this again. Well, I found a slime. That's positive. Try to block. Yeah, that's, that's clever. Do 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 do. Getting all my stuff back. Hey, no! He has my sword. That's bad. Really bad. Really bad. Oh, you suck. Why are you not burning? I don't have arrows. Ugh. I don't I have arrows. I need just just one. There we go. Now we fight. There you are. Good. Phew. 
That was tougher than I thought. That. Where's my food? And my shovel. Oh, my shovel's over here. It's good to know. Still missing a bunch of stuff. Anything down here? Nope. Well, that was my food. That's good. Is that now everything? I am not sure. That's not helpful. It's about where I died, isn't it? Well, I, I think we lost our chance with the slimes for this night. At least I don't see any around anymore. Can't believe I died three fucking times. Shouldn't have died once. Oh, well. Guess I'm gonna take a little break from playing. I'm slightly mad. Bitch. He wasn't going to, resp uh, to despawn because he had flesh in his hand. <sighs> and, and he wasn't going to burn either because he had a helmet on. Well, that would eventually break, but, but still. <sighs> See you in the next clip. Phew! Well, some, some time has passed, to tell you that much. A few days, in fact. Um, I finished a little house thingy. Well, I don't have a window yet. But, um, I think this is enough as a landmark, once we come across this area, if we ever come across this area, we have a nice little house to remember the pain that lied beyond there. But, I've got a few slime balls, I don't have enough string though, I think. Oh boy, guess I have to wait for another night. Yep. To make one set of leads though that yep. we can take a look at the first donkey too maybe uh do i have a fence i don't have a fence let's make a fence donkeys donkey don't want the fence on me? Come on. Huh? Huh? Come on. Now. Come on. Come on. You want to be friends? I should probably tell you that I killed the last guy that followed me. Huh? But you want an adventure. Well, I didn't exactly kill him. He died in the nether. Because he spawned in a portal. Alright. Donkey number one. That's pretty good. Get off. Uh, give me that. And you stay here. Right there. Get the next one. Mm -hmm. 
I will take a few with me. There he has a lot of them. Come on. I'm thinking about uh, riding one and having two on lead. The three donkeys. Hello. Come on. So let's quickly uh, finish the house by putting in a few glass paints. And how about we do them in the color of the local flowers? Light blue. I'm an idiot. I have to dye this stuff first. Well, let's. How about we just have clear clasp? I'm an idiot. All right, just clear paints. Oh, there we go. You had a chance. Anyway, I think that's it. We should have everything we need to take. No, I'm gonna leave the food here. I might die on the way. I hope not, but who knows? Where's. Donkey number three. Donkey. Off we go. Two. We need this. You too. Come with me. We are off. This will probably take forever to get these idiots all the way to the quarry. But I can do it. I hope. We'll see. Well, it looks like somebody forgot to bring a bed. This will be fun. Because I'll just stand here and wait. Yeah. Wait. At least this way, nobody of you can get stuck. Right? Yeah. You don't have to look away like that. I know what happened. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh boy. All right, uh, fought a few monsters, but only shot my donkey twice, so everything is good, right? Let's continue. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost fucked that up. Ah, looks like home, doesn't it? Well, it isn't. Home is about 2,500 blocks in that direction and 1,000 block in X direction away. Oh boy. Ah, we might have another... Ninja donkey on our hands. I got up off the donkey because both leads broke. Now I found them. And the other donkey with the saddle is gone. Uh, where is he? What are you doing all the way down here? Ugh. I said a leap. Game. All right, off we go. Oh boy, in there. So. Problem is, in there, does not include us yet. We're still out here. Oh man, I've, rec I've been recording myself now for over an hour, pulling donkeys behind me. I'm starting to feel like a donkey myself. 
But maybe that's just a normal thing. Ugh, this is so tedious. This is probably one of the most frustrating yet boring experiences I ever had in Minecraft. And I've been playing this game for quite a while. Well, actually, if you think about it, Minecraft's kind of getting old. Like, I think uh, I've, I saw a tweet just a few days back from one of the guys at Mojang saying, yeah, Minecraft now is seven years old. That's old enough to be in school. <gasps> My beacon. Holy fuck. It just, like, lightning outside my window, like, 20 times at least. That's an exaggeration, but... You know, really. Ugh. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, the game is... There are players out there that are younger than the game. That's so weird to me. Ugh. Oh, how happy I am to see this beacon. Truly a beacon, that is. A beacon of hope. And a beacon that signals victory. Ah, oh, man. You don't even know how often these guys got lost. Countless times. I know that for a fact, because... Well, well I didn't count, so it's countless. But... We are back. Now, to get over there. Oh, man, this took so long. I, I, um, I've been recording non-stop since I... Um, yeah, since I started at the house. The swamp thing. And it's been one hour and 20 minutes since then. Now, isn't that lovely? Oh boy. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, could you all shut up, please? I just want to. Ah, oh, isn't this great? Back at the quarry. Now with donkeys. Woohoo! Ah, finally. Oh, by the way, th did I show this? Look that little thingy where people would store stone. What I bring it all the way back, or maybe tools and utensils and stuff like that. I think that's cool. Nice. It's good to be home. Well, sort of home. Not really my mansion, but this stone will be at my mansion, at my home. But, not today. Oh my god, no. Nope. Um, I will end this episode here. Oh boy, am I happy that I got these donkeys here. I hope you check back with me next time, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Ugh, man, I can't even do my outro pro properly. Anyway, I hope I see you next time. Next episode, video, stream, whatever it will be. And until then... See ya.